Hey, I'm excited to announce that image elements have arrived to Obsidian Xcolid Raw as well. I just released the pre-release. I'll put the link in the description below. You can install it from there. After another day of testing, I'm going to release this to community plugins as well. So I just quickly want to show you how this works. So first of all, how do you add images to your drawing? There's a button up here. If you click the button, you can select an image. You double click, you click where you want the image and that's it. You can resize the image and if you hold shift, then you can also distort the image if you want. Second, you can control, drag and drop from the Obsidian File Explorer. So let's take this file. I drag it here. I press the control button and there you go. I've inserted uh, this drawing uh, into uh, here. And then finally, I can copy paste anything from the clipboard. So I come here, I copy this image, I come back, I press control V and the image appears in my drawing. The images are stored in Obsidian. So if I control click on an image, then the image inside Obsidian will come up and I can actually come here and rename this to monkey like this. And if I come back here, of course, the image uh, is still here, but this is now called monkey. And I can also show you that here under attachments, I have my monkey PNG file that was pasted. Um, secondly, what I want to show you is uh, that you can embed Xcolid Raw drawings as well. And that is my logo is an Xcolid Raw drawing and you can edit these drawings. So again, if I control click my drawing, it opens up the drawing. And let's just do two uh, quick changes here. I'm going to set this to transparent and I'm going to maybe color this uh, note here to uh, be red like that. And now if I come back uh, to my drawing, then you can see that the image is uh, now transparent and uh, this node is now red. And finally, I want to show you that in the markdown file, so if I click here to open as markdown, uh, note there's a message here that uh, if the image file is big, then the loading of this can take a while. But I want to show you the two changes. So uh, the change number one is embedded files uh, appeared and this is where all of the uh, files that were embedded can be found and these are the links uh, that uh, I'm using in uh, the plugin. And then secondly, if I collapse the drawing, you can see I have an SVG snapshot and I included this snapshot. So these are the images. That's why it's quite big because I have lots of images here, but then at the bottom you will see, I also have the standard SVG text as well. Um, I included this for two reasons. One for simply longevity. So even if Xcolidraw doesn't work in the future, um, for sure SVG support will be there. And this way, all of your files always contain the latest snapshot of the drawing in an SVG format. Also, what I've done is I've taken the hover preview and I converted it to use these snapshots. And that is good because then the loading is much faster. So that was also a performance thing. And that's about it. Some of the uh, features may have some rough edges still. I'm working on uh, stabilizing everything in the solution, but I believe that this is now uh, stable enough for a broader consumption. So that's why I'm releasing it as a pre-release and hopefully by end of tomorrow, we'll come to a final stable version uh, that I'm going to be publishing to community plugins. So hope you will find this useful and hope you find it as exciting as I do. Thank you.